One of the benefits of working with WordPress is that there are often many ways to do the same thing. While the block development examples you've seen so far make use of JSX for rendering and WordPress scripts for building, you can also develop blocks without using these technologies. However, there are some things to be aware of when developing blocks this way. In this lesson, you will learn what a block without JSX or a build process could look like, and what the pros and cons are of both approaches. If you followed the Introduction to Developing WordPress Blocks module in the Beginner Developer Learning Pathway, you built a copyright date block. This block is based on the Build Your First Block tutorial from the WordPress Block Editor Handbook. If you didn't follow these lessons, you can download the block from the WordPress Training Team GitHub repository. This block was built using the Create Block tool and uses JSX for the block content in the editor and when the content is saved, as well as WordPress scripts for building the block. In the same WordPress Training Team GitHub repository, you can also find a version of the copyright date block that doesn't use JSX or a build process. Download that file now, install it in your local WordPress site, and activate it. Then, add the block to a post or page, and you'll see that it has all the same functionality as the JSX version. Open the non-JSX version of the block in your code editor and compare it to the JSX version. The first thing you'll notice is that the non-JSX version has a different file structure. This is because you don't need both the source and build folder. All the block code can be located in a single location. For the purposes of this plugin, the block code is located in the block directory. Before you open that directory, take a look at the main plugin file. You'll notice that it is very similar to the JSX version, with the main difference being that the path passed to the register block type function is the path to the block directory rather than the build directory. Now take a look at the block directory. It has a block.json file, an index.asset.php file, an index.js file, and a style-index.css file. The block.json file is exactly the same as the JSX version. The index.asset.php file is also very similar, the main difference being that the dependencies array includes the WP polyfill dependency, which is required when developing blocks without support for ES2015 plus language features and APIs. The block.json and index.asset.php files must be named this way to work when calling register block type with a path to the block directory. The style index.css file contains the CSS for the block. You'll notice that the file name is the value for the style property in the block settings in the block.json file. You could rename this to style.css if you prefer, as long as you update the block.json file to reflect this change. Finally, the index.js file contains all the block code. The first thing you'll notice is that the block code is wrapped in an immediately invoked function expression, or IIFE. This is to prevent any variables from this code leaking into the global scope. Next, you will see all of the dependencies that are required for this block to work. This is equivalent to importing the dependencies in the JSX version. All of the WordPress JavaScript components are available on the global WP object. The one new thing you'll see is create element. Create element is a function exported from the WordPress element package that is used to create React elements. When you use JSX and the code is transpiled, create element is called under the hood to create the React elements to render your block content. The parameters of create element are the tag or element to create the properties of the element, and the children of the element. It's possible to pass more than one child to the element, separating them with commas. After all the block dependencies are defined, you'll see the block registration. 
The big difference here is that the code for both the edit component and save function all exist inside the single index.js file. This is because block development does not currently support JavaScript modules, so all the code must be in a single file. The other major difference is that the block content is created using createElement. Instead of being able to use the HTML-like syntax of JSX to nest elements inside each other, you have to use createElement to create the elements. For this lesson, we'll just focus on the edit component. In this example, each element is created using createElement, and then where needed, that element is passed as a child of another element. For example, first creating the text control for the starting year setting, and then adding it to the panel body, and then adding the panel body to the inspector controls. This could also be written as a single block of code but it's easier to read when broken down into separate variables. Last but not least, the final block output is created and returned using createElement, passing in the wrapper tag, the useBlockProps hook, which will return all the properties as an object, and all the other elements that make up the structure and functionality of the block. The main benefit of following the non-JSX approach is that you don't need to set up the build configuration. This means not needing to install Node.js and NPM, nor worrying about WordPress scripts and running development servers and build scripts. You can write your code, bundle it into a plugin or upload it to your site, and it just works. On the other hand, one of the major benefits of using JSX in the build process is that JSX is easier to read and write. For example, consider the code needed to create the inspector controls element compared to the JSX version. Another benefit is not having to worry about managing dependencies. When using the build process, you can import the WordPress dependencies you need, and the build process will take care of updating your index.asset.php file. When not using the build process, you need to manually update that file with the specific dependencies you need. Developing blocks without JSX or a build process is a valid way to create blocks for WordPress. It's a great way to get started with block development without needing any other software and can be a good way to learn how blocks work. However, if you're planning on developing more complex blocks, you may find it easier to get to grips with JSX and the software required for the build process.